Hey everyone, today let's solve the lead code 27, which is remove element. If you followed along with our last video on static arrays, you would have been left with this lead code challenge. We are going to break it down today. The problem asks you to remove all instances of a particular value in an array in place. So given an integer array nums and an integer val, we need to remove all occurrences of val in nums in place. And remember that we are treating this array as if it were a static array, so no changing the size and no high level methods to automatically remove elements. So before we go into the solution, if you tried to solve this problem but couldn't get to the end, comment your solution below and let's see why it didn't work. So to remove all instances of a particular value, we can iterate through this array, swapping the elements we want to remove with elements we want to keep. And we will use two pointers technique to solve this problem. We need to use two markers or pointers to traverse this array from the start and identify elements to keep or remove. It's efficient, fast and allows us to solve the problem in a single pass. And the best way to understand our solution is by looking at the second example that we have here. Let's say we have a target value of 2 and our nums is 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, 4 and 2. So we'll initialize our two pointers, let's name them left and right, and both of them will start at zero. We will iterate through the array using the right pointer and keep track of unique elements with the left pointer. So on step one, our first element is zero, which is not our target value. So we move left and right pointers to one. On step two, we have one, which is again not our target value. So we again move left and right pointers to our next index, which is two. On next iteration, our item is 2, which is our target value. So we keep our left pointer here and we move our right pointer to the next index, which is 3. Next, we see that our current value is again 2, which is our target value. So we keep our left pointer where we have it and we move our right pointer to the next index, which is 4. On step 5, we have our current item as 3, which is not our target value. So we replace our left pointer value with 3 and we move our left pointer to the third index and we also move our right pointer to the next index. On step 6 our current item is 0 which is not 2 so we replace our left item with 0 and we move our left and right pointers by 1. And on step 7 we see that our current value is 4 which is again not our target value so we replace our left value with 4 and we move our left and right pointers by 1. And on the last iteration, we see that the current item is 2, which is our target value. So we don't do anything and we exit out of our for loop. Now as we can see, our left pointer is left at index 5, which was tracking the number of unique values. So our answer is also 5, because we had 5 unique values in this array. So we just return whatever the value of left is, which is 5. So let's see our pseudocode for solving this problem. We will initialize left and right pointers at starting point as 0. We will iterate through the array using our right pointer. If the current value that we are looking at is equal to our target value, we will write it to the position of the left and then we will move left and right pointers by 1. Otherwise, we just move forward our right pointer and we don't do anything with the left pointer. And at the end, we will return the value of our left pointer. So for initializing our left and right pointer, let's first initialize our left pointer, which will start at 0, and we will initialize our right pointer inside of a for loop, and this also does our iteration through the array. So now we have to do just one thing, check if this condition is true, and move our left and right pointers by 1. Otherwise, our right pointer is adding up anyways, because we are inside of this for loop where right is incrementing on every step. So we don't have to do anything with the else case, we just have to handle this if statement. So if our current value is not equal to the target value, we will assign our left pointer to have the value of our right pointer, and we will increment our left pointer by 1. And at the end we just return our left pointer. Let's try this out and it passes all the tests with a runtime of 64 milliseconds. Now what do you think is the time and space complexity of our solution? I'll give you a moment to think about it. So the time complexity is O of n because we are still iterating over this array where n is the length of the array. 
We go through array once, so it's a linear time operation. And what's the space complexity of this solution? The space complexity is O of 1 because we didn't use any additional data structures. We manipulated the array in place and just used the left and right pointers. And that's it for this problem. If you want to master more lead code challenges, make sure to check out this video about how to solve interview coding problems next. See you in the next video where we'll dive into the dynamic arrays and solve lead code problems to practice dynamic arrays as well.